Since we're talking about foundations, I first wanted to show you the four foundations of indigenous food systems brought to you by the North American traditional indigenous food system. Number one, removal of colonized thought. Number two, reconnect spiritually, mentally, and physically with the natural world. Number three, understand and build indigenous foundations. And number four, reclaim, retain, and share practice of knowledge. Uh, this is a wonderful document. Have a look. It was mentioned in the article, as well as discussed when doing any amount of research on the residential school system in Nova Scotia, that teaching English, as well as other colonial traditions, was meant to erase local traditions and stories. Now it's our job to teach and encourage those local stories to come out through literature, climate fiction, art, food, etc. I am going to go the food route, obviously. In the past, they had incentives for educators to teach works by white authors. I was gifted a cookbook from the students a few years ago that specializes in indigenous cuisine. So here we go. I'm going to use that. I would like to offer an incentive for current culinary teachers to lean into indigenous culture through food. That incentive is the ability to eat delicious, sustainable meals, as well as learn how to connect our environment with our kitchens and our health. Culinary education could certainly be affected and adapted based on the concepts discussed in the article. Um, here are a few of my thoughts on that. Just as the article advocates for the inclusion of indigenous perspectives in literature, culinary education can incorporate indigenous cooking techniques, ingredients, and recipes. This would not only enrich the curriculum, but also honor and preserve indigenous culinary heritage. I'll be making some corn cookies while we discuss this. We need to focus on local and sustainable ingredients. Indigenous relationality emphasizes a deep connection to the land and sustainable practices. Culinary programs could prioritize local, seasonal, and sustainable ingredients, reflecting indigenous ecological knowledge and promotion of environmental stewardship. We can take a more holistic approach to food education. The article's call for reimagined English curriculum can be paralleled in the culinary education for adopting a holistic approach. This would include understanding the cultural, spiritual, and environmental aspects of food, similar to how literature courses might explore the broader context of indigenous narratives. We need to collaborate with indigenous chefs and our communities. Culinary schools could establish partnerships with indigenous chefs and communities, providing students with hands-on experiences and direct learning from indigenous culinary experts. This aligns with the article's emphasis on integrating indigenous voices in educational contexts. We need to develop new teaching materials. Similar to how the article suggests new models of reading literature, culinary education can develop new teaching materials that highlight indigenous food systems, recipes, and stories. This in can include multimedia resources, guest lectures, and field trips to indigenous communities. It's important to have cultural sensitivity and respect. Educators should approach indigenous culinary traditions with respect and sensitivity, ensuring that these practices are represented accurately and respectfully. This includes giving credit to indigenous knowledge holders and avoiding cultural appropriation. Also important is student awareness and advocacy. By educating students about the importance of indigenous culinary traditions and the broader implications of food sovereignty, culinary programs can cultivate advocates for indigenous rights and sustainable food practices. We can also address issues like climate change and environmental impact. The integration of indigenous relationality into culinary education can also help address climate change by teaching students about sustainable food practices and the environmental impact of different culinary choices. By adopting these points, culinary education can become more inclusive, sustainable, and socially conscious, reflecting the broader themes of indigenous re relationality and ecological awareness discussed in this article. As I sit here enjoying my corn cookie, 
made out of the sous chef indigenous kitchen by Sean Sherman and Beth Dooley. I can't help but think of my own connection to the indigenous world and how I can improve that through culinary education.